package of Avalon cigarettes, please. Yes, sir. Oh, just a moment, sir. Don't forget your change. You never guess, but Avalon's cost you less. So why not always travel along with Avalon? Good evening, friends. Good evening. This is Del King saying welcome to Avalon Time with greetings from Red Foley and the entire company. To start the show tonight, we'd like to present the only man in radio who wears suits with a built-in chest, <laughs> Red Skelton. <laughs> Okay. Thanks a lot. Hello, everybody. Hello there, microphones. Hello there, Skelton. Oh. You know, I heard him mention you three times in a song today. What song was that? Tramp, 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 the boys are marching. <laughs> oh, I'm a tramp, huh? Maybe that's why all my friends, when I take a trip, wish me a bum voyage. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, I have a special news bulletin, ladies and gentlemen. New York City, New York. Grover Whalen suffers from a slight nervous breakdown. He's been working two years on a jigsaw puzzle, and he got it together. It was the San Francisco World's Fair. <laughs> uh, I was out in the San Francisco World's Fair. Oh, I had a lot of fun out there. Only thing, it was cold. In fact, the weather was so cold, well, they were serving hot dogs with mustard-colored sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> Sally Rand walked up to one of her girls, and she says, Listen, if you want to stay in this nude ranch, you'll have to take off those blue tights. <laughs> girl, <laughs> girl says, Those are not blue tights. I'm cold. <laughs> Boy, is that fairground big. No kidding. I walked around so much, when I got through, my socks looked like spats. <laughs> yeah, what happened to that gag? Hey, Red. Listen, I've got a confession to make. What? Before the program went on the air tonight, I tipped the studio audience off on that gag. You thought it was so good, we thought we'd play a trick on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, for a minute, I thought I'd have to get a new writer. See? <laughs> But I had a lot of fun. We walked into the Hall of Science, and just as you walk... This one's safe, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> you walk into the door at the Hall of Science, they have a scale there that talks. Del King got on it and says, you weigh 160 pounds. I got on it and says, you weigh 180 pounds. <laughs> Phil Davis, our Argus leader, got on it and says, one at a time, please. <laughs> They've got another machine there. Oh, I'm telling you, it's marvelous. You drop a dollar in it and get a husband. But my brother has one at the New York World's Fair that's going to top that. You drop a husband in it and get a dollar. <laughs> really a lot of fun out there, though. We uh, walk into the art building, and just as you walk in, there's a big statue of a guy there. He's got one arm knocked off, his eyes gouged out, and his nose is punched in, and his legs bent. <laughs> Underneath it says, Victory. <laughs> Boy, I'd hate to see the guy that lost, no? <laughs> the uh, San Francisco World Fair, one thing nice about it, though, you won't have to be w worried about pickpockets. You'll never get a crook that close to Alcatraz. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can stand here and tell gags all night about the World Fair, but my allotted time has expired. <laughs> I got that line off my insurance policy. <laughs> So Phil Davis and the boys will play Honolulu. Hit it, Phil. Hang on.
Ladies and gentlemen, you'll hear this from millions upon millions of people all over the country. When I can get finest quality in Avalon cigarettes and still save three to five cents on every pack, why pay more? Avalons give me more for my money. And friends, why don't you switch to Avalons and get more for your money? Get finest quality cigarettes for three to five cents less than other popular priced brands, yes? Three to five cents less. And you can be absolutely certain Avalon's are highest quality. Make no mistake about that. They're 100% union made from the world's finest Turkish and domestic tobaccos, blended with rare skill by experts to give you the utmost in true smoking pleasure. An extra smooth, pleasantly mild, delightfully enjoyable smoke. That's why you'd never guess they cost you less. In fact, you could want no finer quality cigarettes, regardless of price, regardless of brand. What more could you possibly demand? Superfine tobaccos, a truly superior blend, at a real saving. With all this to gain, surely Avalon's are worth a trial. The next time, ask for Avalon's and save the difference. Here he is, folks, the singing star of Avalon Time, Red Foley. Well, howdy, Dell. Howdy, folks, and howdy to you, Red Skelton. Hello there, Red Foley. Hey, you look a little downhearted, Skelton. What's the matter? Oh, I don't know. Del King tells my gags before the broadcast. <laughs> Just a few minutes ago, I saw my girl with another fella. So I went down the river to end it all. When I got down there, it was frozen over. <laughs> So went ice skating instead. <laughs> oh, Why am I? I like old Doc Boomha. <laughs> yes, sir. That's the glory of love, yeah. man. Say, how about singing that song, Red, as if though you wasn't? Oh, that's it. <laughs> You've got to give a little, take a little, and let your poor heart break a little. That's the story of that's the glory of love. You gotta laugh a little, cry a little, before the clouds roll by a little. Now that's the story of, that's the glory of love. As long as there's the two of us, we've got the world and all its charms. And when the world is through with us, we've got each other's arms. You gotta win a little, lose a little, and always have the blues a little. Now that's the story of, that's the glory of love. return from a visit to his hometown is usually a happy man because of the many slaps on the back. We now take you to the office of Slap Happy Skelton. Let's listen. 
Oh, I'm a happy man. Ta -da -ta -da -ta -da -ta. Say, you know, Miss Stilwell, I have a very mellow voice. Mellow? I'd say it was rotten. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you won't insult me after I tell you of my good fortune. This morning, I found a diamond ring in the bathtub. A diamond ring? Mm -hmm. What did you do? Put the diamond in my pocket and wipe the ring out. <laughs> yes, sir, the chief of police in Vincent's gave me that one. Yes, sir. Should have given him 20 years for that, yes. <laughs> oh, Vincent, oh, nothing's changed. I was down there last week. Nothing's changed. Main Street's the same as it always was. Nothing's changed. Fifteen years ago, I ran the streets there. I was just a little punk. And nothing's changed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wish I was in Vincennes tonight. There's a big celebration. Right at this very minute, 160 years ago, on February the 25th, 1779, George Rogers Clark captured Fort Sackville in Vincennes that opened the uh, gateway to the Middle West. Gee, I'm getting to sound like Major Bowles. <laughs> How do you know so much about history? Oh, I know plenty about history. I'll tell you something I bet you didn't know. Christopher Columbus was a Democrat. Ah. Uh -huh. No kidding. He, was, he must have been. His uh, project was financed by the government. <laughs> Shoe shine, Mr. Skelton? Yeah, I think I will have a shine there, Aristophanes. What are you going to charge me, a nickel? A nickel? Mm -hmm. And anybody shine those big shoes of yours for a nickel would whitewash a bone for a quarter. <laughs> well, I'd give you more, but you'd only take it out and buy a drink. Oh, no, not me. I take it home and give it to my mama. You do? Yeah, you see, we just had another blessed event in our family. Yeah, what is it, a boy or a girl? What else could it be? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Boy, she, she got you on that one. Yeah. I got to remember that. How did that go again? We haven't got time to go back. Oh, I'd sure like to tell that to my brother and my sister. Yeah. How many are there in your family? Well, there's 19 of them. Yeah, the stock visits our house quite frequently. <laughs> visits, huh? He lives there. <laughs> Come on now, get started on these shoes here. Come on. Well, you see, uh, usually on a job of this sort, I guess a retainer. A retainer. Well, there's a nickel. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. That Indian show don't take the daylight. Look at him blink his eyes. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I'll just take these shoes down the basement. I do much better job when I takes my time. Okay, but don't take too much time now. It's raining out, and I don't want to walk home in the rain. <laughs> Barefooted. Gee, there's a nice fellow. I think I'll have him do a little work for me around here. Here he is, boss. Yeah. What kept you so long, huh? Well, I've been kind of rushed today. <laughs> that didn't pay off at all, did it, huh? <laughs> Well, that's speed for you, though. No, because I think that guy's put me in the mood to do a little work. I think I'll hang this picture that my grandmother gave me. A picture of me when I was a kid, riding on a donkey. <laughs> hey, come here, Miss Stillwell. Take a look at this, will you? At what? Look, there's a picture of me when I was a kid. Oh, that's cute. But who's that on your back? <laughs> 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 Nothing but in... Well, come on in there, Professor. How are you, fella? I got it. There you go, Professor. <laughs> Oh, well, my, don't get too close to me with those buck teeth. <laughs> Boy, you could eat corn at 20 paces. No kidding. <laughs> How are you tonight, Professor? How are you this evening, Mr. Skelton? Well, that line's not in there, but I think I can answer it if you read it again. <laughs> well, how are you this evening, Mr. Skelton? Well, don't worry about me. Let's get gruesome and talk about you. Oh, well. <laughs> But you really look great tonight, Professor. You have the face of a saint. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Saint Bernard. No? <laughs> well, I suppose they, uh, another question's got you stumped. Yeah, oh, no, 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 uh, no, just the answer. Uh, what is hash? Hash? Mm. That's a hamburger with a nervous breakdown. <laughs> thank you so much. Do you drink milk from contented cows? Yes, I do. But these are drinking from a bottle. <laughs> Oh, that professor's a great fellow. He's got a marvelous mind. No kidding. His mind developed so fast it went straight from childhood into second childhood. <laughs> Shine your shoes, mister? Yeah, you were just in here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Doggone it, I just can't tell you white boys apart. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't treat the Hoosier comedian that way in Vincent. The who? The Hoosier comedian. Fred Allen isn't bad. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm still Tops and Vincent. I'll tell you that right Tops now. and Vincent. You come back here blowing off about the Chamber of Commerce, the Chief of Police, the crowds at the train, and the mayor. I'll bet you don't even know the mayor of Vincent. Oh, Vincennes. is that so? Well, I'll call him up and prove it. Hello, get me Mayor Taylor in Vincent, will you? Uh, what's that? He's calling me. Oh, well. How are you, bud? Bud, that's his maiden name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, bud. Yeah, I had a marvelous time, bud. Yeah, I got the platinum medal, bud. 
I got the rose, bud. That's yes. marvelous. Right. If I weren't here, I wouldn't believe it. Wouldn't believe what? I wouldn't believe that anybody could talk on a phone that's been disconnected for two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Strong said he was wild about arranging it. Bill Davis said he was wild to play it. We hope you'll be wild about it, too. It's that everlasting favorite, I'm Just Wild About Harry. Gentlemen, here's what happens to Jeanette after looking at you. Our guess is you'd feel the same way after looking at Jeanette. After looking at you, how can a rose look sweet to me? How can a star be heavenly after looking at you? After looking at you. No other thing could thrill my heart No other love could fill my heart After looking at you The mellow music of the breeze The moonlight through the trees Oh, what can I compare to you to? A garden in the rain A Mendelssohn refrain They all run stuck to you You're so different and new here in your arms it's paradise There's no one else before my eyes After looking at you After looking at you In the past 10 years, we Americans have lived through a terrific economic change. In 1928 and 29, it was easy to make money, easy to spend it. And then, practically overnight, yes, the crash. Money became scarce. Prices were lowered because we demanded more for our money. But oddly enough, the so-called standard price of cigarettes remained about the same. Then something happened. A new cigarette appeared. 
A price to fit the times. The name, Avalon's. Highest quality cigarettes, costing three to five cents less than other popular priced brands. And smokers were quick to appreciate this new economy. That's why today, millions upon millions of people are switching to Avalon. Why don't you give them a trial? They're 100% union made from the world's finest tobaccos. With all the high quality you demand in any cigarette, you'd never guess they cost you less. The next time, forget price habit. Give your thrifty judgment a chance. Get your cigarettes for three to five cents less. Ask for Avalon cigarettes. And don't forget your change. You know, Mr. Skelton, if I could have three wishes... First, I think I'd wish for some pretty clothes. Oh, you would, huh? Then I'd wish for that seven weeks back salary you owe me. Yeah. And uh, then... You'd wish for three more wishes, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Say, the way you wish around here, you should have been Aladdin Skelton secretary. That's the guy with the magic lamp. If you wanted anything, all you had to do was rub the lamp, make a wish, and there you were. Boy, would I like to meet him. Yeah, I can't dig him up just for that. <laughs> Ah, that was in the good old Arabian days. Yeah, and those Arabian nights weren't bad either. <laughs> well, Red, listen. Suppose I turn back the pages of history so you can tell the story of Aladdin, Skelton, and his magic lamp. Okay, Del. Okay, Red. <laughs> the place, Baghdad, city of dreams on the Tigris River. The time, 762. And as we turn the mellow pages of the Skelton saga, we find Aladdin Skelton and his secretary approaching Baghdad on a magic carpet. Oh, I'm glad I am Aladdin. Da 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 dee 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 da da. -da. Sounds a little flat, but I'm singing in Asia Minor. <laughs> just made it up. Just made it up. Just made it up. Oh, this is swell, Aladdin Skelton. What kind of a magic carpet is this? This is a transcontinental nine by twelve. <laughs> Really magic? Oh, confidentially, the whole thing's a fake, but it carries me back and forth. So what? <laughs> Thing even talks. Hey, Rug, when do you think we'll get into Baghdad? Very soon to land. Hang on for the life. He sounds like a Chinaman. I know, it's an Oriental rug. <laughs> <laughs> Said that so, in accident, uh, uh, accidentally. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, find me. There's the Tigris River down there. Yeah. Hello, Tigris River. <laughs> That's the Tigris. It roared. Yeah, you'd roar, too, if you had rocks in your bed. <laughs> well, hold on now. We're going down. <laughs> ah, it's good to be home again. <laughs> Say, how about rubbing this magic lamp and getting Alba Cadabba Grant, the magician? Oh, he's an entertainer and a great one, too. Yes, everybody's talking about his famous horse trick. They say he can turn anything into a plug. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll rub the lamp and get it. Greetings, guys. Let's commercialize. <laughs> oh, well, that's Kelowna Grant. <laughs> this guy's from Turkey, so I better make him feel at home and talk to him in his native tongue. Uh, gobble, 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 in the world is he talking about? I don't know. That guy's a thousand years ahead of everybody. <laughs> he said something about the finest Turkish and domestic tobaccos are found in Avalon cigarettes. <laughs> well, rub the lamp and get rid of it. Okay. So long, guys. I'm about to vaporize. <laughs> well, let's see what's happening in the way of news. I'll rub the lamp and get uh, Ala Rinchel. <laughs> Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Asia Minor, and all the rugs afloat. News from across the water. Splash! Alabama Foley and what 40 thieves are on their way to what city to steal what magic lamp from what dope who's sitting in front of me? Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh, that's news enough for me. Come on, hide that lamp. Where, in the icebox? Uh, don't put it in there. That's the first place that crooked look. <laughs> yeah, What's glutton. the matter? Are you afraid of him? Afraid? I'm not afraid. We skipped five gags. Let's go back. They're good ones. <laughs> I'm not as scared of Foley. Why, Foley, if he, I'm even getting mixed up on words now. 
he was here right now, you know what I'd say to him? Ah, uh, what would you say to him? Welcome to Baghdad. <laughs> Listen, I ain't got any time for socializing. Give me that lamp. What lamp? Listen, if you don't produce that lamp in a hurry, I'm going to give you 40 lashings. And that'll teach you a lashing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Alabin Muggsy, hammer that piece of rubber hose. What are you going to do, beat it out of me? I ain't going to siphon it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here's my lamp, Gene. And hand over the girl, too. Now, wait a minute. Now, you can take my lamp, but you let my secretary alone. Oh, shut up, Aladdin. Who's doing the robbing around here anyway? <laughs> Say, Aladdin, I got a feeling that you're gonna die. Yeah? What makes you think that? <laughs> Two of my men got spears pointed at your head. Oh, that... Uh, huh? <laughs> oh, gee. But before my men rub you out, I'm gonna let you rub the lamp. Yeah. You can have one more wish. Okay. Here's the lamp, now just make one more wish. Oh, see, now. Oh, I wish, I wish. Oh, I wish. I Wandering over the face of the earth, writers of music capture melodies that escape less fortunate ears. Red Foley and the Avalon Chorus give us one of those beautiful melodies now when Mother Nature sings her lullaby. Each heart ain't gone Many new hopes are born When Mother Nature sings her lullaby Sweetheart, let us wander Upward to the hill Where the sun is setting Where it's peaceful still This day has been weary This day has been long It will be forgotten In Mother Nature's song the stars come out, lighting a deep blue sky. When Mother Nature sings her lullaby, the moon bends low, kissing each rose good night. When Mother Nature sings her lullaby. Our cares and all our troubles will soon be put to flight. The gentle breeze of evening will blow them through the night. Each heart ain't gone, many new hopes are born. When Mother Nature sings her lullaby, with us next Saturday evening at the same time when the Brown and Williamson Tobacco Corporation will again present Avalon Time. Honolulu is from the production of the same name. Del King speaking. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Avalon Time originated in the studios of the nation station and has reached you through the National Broadcasting Company.